platinum tube with an endium complex of plus four. What are they talking about? I don't know, but this outfit has them. This isn't paper. It's some kind of metal. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And today, <clears throat> I have a Hot Point Bandmaster made by uh, Australian General Electric back in about 1947. And this is a model number H something or other. <laughs> Forgotten. Hold on. <laughs> H55DE. Okay. Dual band. And uh, I've got only got the chassis, the case is with the owner. And um, it's here for restoration, of course. And when I got it up on the bench, I, well, first thing I noticed, I mean, look, it was almost all complete, apart from missing, as you can see there, the uh, rectifier, which is a uh, 6X5. Ah, no, it come off, never mind. When I got it up on the bench and I, I had a look, I saw the first thing that caught my eye was diodes. So... It appears that they've, um, I don't know, I guess the uh, six, original 6, 6X5 um, shit itself and um, somebody thought, well, you know, I'll just put diodes in there instead. Well, okay, a lot of work. I'll just get a, another valve myself. Um, and a little bit of extra work's been done to it. As you can see, the um, filter caps have been changed and the cathode bypass as well. And it looks to be like, you know, 60s caps, maybe early 70s as well, who knows, and um, there is a cap can there, oh there were two cap cans, one's been taken out, uh, but there is another one left in there, pardon me, and I can see it there, and it appears to still be in circuit, so um, that'll have to come out, anyway, anyway, so I've never, I mean I've had one radio where it had half-wave rectification that's going back a few radios now uh, and that was fairly straightforward um, I just had to take out those two diodes and uh, put a valve in and uh, as far as I remember it just worked um, and this one he's got it he's got each diode strapped with a um, oh what are they um, grey red and yellow resistors grey red and yellow according to my chart uh, Eight to 820k resistors so I've not seen a, uh, a diode rectifier set up with, with resistors but um, anyway I'm not an expert on them by any means any means and um, first thing I had to do was a little bit of apprehension oh god you know I don't know if the thing works anyway but um, I need to understand exactly what the guy's done. Has he done it properly? Um, does it still work? In fact, let me just turn the radio up on its other side make it a bit easier for me. Okay. Well, this is what the guy has essentially put in place. So, he's moved... He's, we've got HT coming in where, where it should be and he's... Um, Moved a, uh, a resistor because HT on this goes through both lines run through a um, 100 ohm resistor uh, before they get to the plates. So um, he's put one HT line on um, pin 8, which is a cathode pin, and into that diode, into that diode, into that one, into that one, terminates right there, and then he's run a grey wire back to the other. Uh, HT line so that's where HTs are currently sitting at the moment and at that point there that runs off to um, the primary filter cap and also which is connected to the field coil as well and um, the negative goes to the center tap and through a uh, 35 ohm resistor I think and then to earth so that's all straightforward and that's what he's done so I can understand that and I can see at no other point that that's how the circuit appears to be and so I've made up the um, copy the schematic and it's all fairly straightforward 
um, just uh, from, even for me, typical um, rectifier layout. So we've got HT, one line coming into pin three through a hundred through a hundred ohm resistor, and the other HT line again hundred ohm resistor to pin five. Pins three and five are the plates. Um, here it goes to pin two. Uh, pin seven is here. That just goes off to earth as well. Sorry, pardon me. One of them says, as you know, anyway, anyway. And the cathode, uh, Dow DC, runs through to um, the positive of uh, that capacitor, C29, as you can see there. And that happens to be that one there. And the negative of the cap is on our center tap. And it runs through resistor 16, which then goes to earth, and that happens to be right there as you can see that browny fat resistor and of course the other side of the um, center tap runs doo -doo 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 -doo, and it runs to uh, the first point is a 2.5 meg resistor and then off through the circuit wherever it wants to go so that's all straightforward so let's have a look at pins three and five and make sure well we know I know definitely that uh, one of them's not getting HD because he's moved it over moved that re resistor over to um, the cathode and it's going to be a bit hard to show you but I'll just explain this as I go along um, the HT lines are both maroon in color and they're going to pins not three and five but they're going to pins uh, one, two, three, four, and six, and those pins aren't used in the circuit at all. Oh, we can't see it, pardon me. I oh, know this bugger's in the way. But, um, what did I say, pins three and five? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So pin five is getting HT through a uh, resistor, and um, pin three is not because that resistor, the end of it has been put over to the cathode. So I've simply got to just move that resistor and put it on pin three, and I can even see where pin three has been unsolded. So that's cool. And that's all that needs to be done there. Um, the other thing I want to make sure of is, are these filter caps both connected to the field coil? And it's field coil, okay. So, I hope you're following me with this, but uh, yeah, look, I've spent a fair bit of time looking at it and uh, trying to get it into my head but I'll um, I'll do some continuity tests first so um, looking at the positive of the, the main filter cap and that should be I can see the wire coming down should be there that's correct and that will also go to the field coil and that is actually being fed off the field coil as well and we can run a impedance test and see and if they both positives are connected to the field coil it should get something like a thousand ohms um, get that I'm trying to get the glare off it too nine hundred and fifty eight ohms as you can see so near near enough to a thousand so the fill call is good that's good all right and center tap which should be up there and let me just look at my um, diagram again so center tap runs to R16 to earth and I can see it and there's that center tap there center tap is our black wire there and running through that resistor to earth and that's that line there comes from the transformer itself and the feed off it 
uh, black wire which looks to be running do 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 should be where 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 oh yeah 2.2 resist 2.5 meg resistor and i'm looking i'm looking i did find it earlier there it is right right there that little one so red green and green so that again just double check my colors so red is two green is five and uh, 2.5 meg and if I measure it I hope to see 2.5 meg Two point nine. Okay, so it's it's over. That's all right. But that's that's that is the one, and we can just double check that by doing a continuity test. So there's my center tap, and here's the resistor. Maybe if I touch them properly. Nope. Oh, sorry. This side. Nope, there it is. Cool. So that's our center tap, and it's it's all connected well, properly. All right. Well, like I said, I don't know if the radio works, but in this case, I'm going to power it up, and we'll see if we actually get some voltage on, at least on that main filter cap up there. All right, so I'll just um, change some probes and we'll um, we'll give it a try. I've got the probes, and so that's on the negative of the uh, cap, and it's just easier to come down there <coughs> on the positive, um, where it's also connected <coughs> to the uh, field core, um, amongst other things, of course. All right, what are we looking for? DC. All right, burn a rectifier as soon as I give it some power, it should just be yeah, we should have voltage. Yep. Well, so far, so good. Uh, dial globe is lighting up. No short circuits. Just leave it at. Um, 120 volts I'm giving it at the moment. I think we can go up a bit higher. It's 170. I'll bring it up to 200 volts of mains. That should be enough. Oh, it works. It works. That's <laughs> that's really good. I mean, um, I'm looking. At, this video really is just about getting rid of <coughs> um, a solid state rectifier and putting the uh, the valve back in. Because uh, I think if I, if I didn't say it, oh, I'll say it again, um, or if I have said it, uh, the owner wants uh, the radio to be original and doesn't want uh, diodes doing the rectification. Okay, and that's fair enough, and I happen to agree. So, um, as I said, all I've really got to do is to move one resistor over to pin three on the rectifier, on the um, socket, and cut out the beginning <laughs> of the uh, diode circuit and also terminate it where it um, cut that grey wire off and that should be fine that should be fine um and then of course <coughs> pardon me run one wire from the cathode to that point there which feeds the main uh filter cap so i'm going to do that and then we'll uh we'll give it a test and it should work so i'll be back very shortly so here's the two resistors um again that one's fine 
um, it's been fed HT has been fed to pin 5 and now HT has been fed to pin 3 via that resistor there so just snip it across so let's put that back in must remember to solder that for the test but I will next thing is this rectifier circuit so let's just snip them and I'm going to leave them in place until we've got the thing going and where's the other one as you can see right there in fact I'll snip the wire off the plate so that's nice and safe and I won't have a couple hundred volts running through it so as far as I can tell that's now completely that's diode circuits completely isolated it still is in there so it's going to be getting some power what that's going to do I don't know because um, it's going to be getting fed HT from the um, coming back through the uh, fuel core. Hmm. Probably best just to get it out, I think. So, yeah. Give, give me a second on that one. I'll just have another look. Okay, I've um, I've left the um, the diodes in place. I mean. Um, both ends are terminated, so um, sure they're going to get some power, but it's not going to be going anywhere. So not going to. I can't see it affecting the circuit at all. Um, I've soldered that cap negative back on, so that's earth, and uh, just uh, shot a little black wire connecting the cathode up to the uh, main filter cap. So here's the test. The valves in. Grab the spare one. And let me just hook up my um, multimeter probe. And to there. And let's go. DC power. And see what happens. Okay. Give it 100 volts. Make sure those leads are working hundred nineteen volts so far so far so good but not getting any DC voltage here we come good it's hundred and forty volts hundred and sixty I smoke um, all good and it works thank you the case for the person who makes a statement and I spent two years working with Amber okay I again being the first time I've done this and you know um, I just thought it's got to work it's got to work and um and luckily for me it did so yeah I'm quite proud of myself um, and really there was nothing to it when you look at it in hindsight um, <clears throat> well okay that was to me that's the interesting part um, the rest of it now is simply change those bloody caps and um, get this thing running properly and um, that shouldn't be too hard at all and hey might as well do it on this video so but it won't take too long Back soon. Well, it's finished. All been recapped, as you can see. A lot of caps in there, and um, majority of resistors too. They were just oh, way out, way out. Anyway, it's working extremely well. Barry Armstrong is one person I've met with this morning. He was just outside of a. One thing I um <clears throat> I did notice, and I forgot earlier, um, that switch there. That's the tone switch. 
River right around his home. It surrounds it almost up to the... So it's either muffled it's close to or now where he is. it's really, really but clear. But if it doesn't <laughs> soon, he's in big trouble. Normal river All right, is, uh, so this was a fun train. one. Um, I enjoyed um, doing something different, um, taking out a uh, solid state rectifier and replacing it with the a rectifier valve, which is the way this radio should be working. So, hope you got something out of it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Not much to show us. It, as again, we saw the radio was working right up front. So, um, it really was just a simple job. And um, just go through it slowly and uh, change all the old uh, components. So, guys, thank you very much, as always. And uh, I will see you all again very, very soon. So, take care. Have fun.